Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Pretty Party Ruby to do a simple, really quick, and fun, easy updo tutorial using no heat. So first you're going to take three-fourths of your hair and you're going to put it up and out of the way. And then you're going to take the rest of the hair that is remaining and secure it with a hair tie. Next, you're going to take the Ruby and you're going to slip it through that pony and make sure it's really good and secure. You're gonna go about three-fourths of the way, and then you're gonna to take that bendy part and tie it around, just like it would it, you would a ponytail, and then you're gonna take the remaining hair and scrunch it up, put it into a bun, and secure it with that bendy part of the ruby. So you got a cute little bun on the, on the end of your hair. Next, you're gonna take a couple bobby pins, and you're going to secure that little bun onto your head so it's not flopping around all day, and you can move your head just the way that you freely choose. Okay, so for the next step, I'm gonna be taking that top portion of my hair and splitting it into two separate sections, pinning the top section up with a little scrunchie so it's out of the way. Then we'll be taking that middle section and splitting the hair into smaller pieces. And I'm just gonna be wrapping those small pieces of hair around my fingers and making little pin curls and then bobby pinning them in place. And I'm gonna be doing that with the entire middle section. And I'm just placing those pin curls wherever I feel like looks good. It doesn't have to be perfect, just because we're gonna be placing that hair that's on top of our head in more pin curls later and placing it on top of those ones. So next I'm gonna be taking those side sections of my hair and I'm just gonna be twisting it and placing it into the bun like so. It's a nice little elegant swoop and I'm gonna be securing that with a bobby pin as well. And as you can see, I'm leaving some hair around my face because it really nicely frames the face, I feel like. Gives it a little more elegant of a look. A little bit more messier too. Next I'm taking that crown section of my hair and I'm going to be teasing it in little sections just to give it a little bit of a bump and a little bit more volume and lift because I personally like that look better again I tease it in sections so that it would be a nice even dome on top of my head and then as you can see I'm just simply taking those sections again making little pin curls and bobby pinning them in place Again, I'm just placing them wherever I feel like looks good and gives a nice feng shui to the look. You guys, this is so simple, so easy. Again, this took me about eight minutes to do with no heat, which means you get to let your hair breathe. The Pretty Party Ruby does not damage your hair. It's not like any other hair extension that pulls your hair out. So it's really nice. Normal hair extensions, you will clip them in, or tape extensions, when you pull them out, you're pulling out a couple strands of hair at a time, and those strands of hair add up, and soon enough, your hair becomes thin, it gets more damaged, but with this, it's super easy and simple, and doesn't damage your hair. I'm just pinning any loose flyaways here too. And next I'm gonna be taking my bangs and just kind of swooping them over so I can cover my ear. I always like the looks when they cover the ear more. I think, it, I think the look looks a lot ele more elegant when I cover the ear. And then again, leaving some extra hair to frame my face. And then I just kind of tuck a little different couple pieces in. And I'm just bobby pinning the rest of it in place to make sure it stays. And there you have it. Again, super easy, super simple. It takes 
such little time, you guys. It's so nice. And I would wear this to a red carpet event. Done in 10 minutes or less.